All right, what's up YouTube? This is Jesse here at Freedom Breeder, and today I'm gonna show you what we see here at the Arlington Show, the NARBC Reptile Show. It's awesome, I'm about to see a bunch of awesome snakes here. I'm gonna show you guys what I see here. It's, I'm, I have a few people in mind that I really wanna go check out some of the snakes they have at their booth. We're over here, we got uh, cocoa blocks at our booth. We got our, our racks that are sold. We have a few left. Um, Hopefully we sell them by the end. We got the Cocoa Block Shakers here. We brought 10 of them. We already sold a few of them. And then, um, yeah, let's go check out some snakes, guys. See that bad boy? We got a scaleless pied right here. Some heat. What do you call that, a small or a medium? You don't see very many of those around, guys. We're over here at uh, Bailey and Bailey Reptiles. We got Tim right behind the booth over here messing around. Hey, fellas. Any special projects, stuff you're working right now? I seen this right here. Yeah, no, I seen that cool. heat right there. That, and then really <clears> you're <throat> just making a whole bunch of more true ghost stuff. I love that stuff. Oh yeah, you got one of those we can check out here? I one right here, and then I've got a typhoon, smaller baby male down the road. But really, the last two or three years, I've been putting a real big focus on double recessive stuff. Just awesome. It's more. Uh, I don't know, it's more gratifying to do that stuff. Yeah, I reason. agree. I just, I like that stuff. I think there's a real big future in that. Because they hold their value a little longer. And of course. A little tougher to produce. But of course, and you also can always add codoms oh, mixed in with those. It's, a, it's like a whole new market. Oh. True ghost, meaning it's a VPI Xanthic mixed with ghost. So it's a double recessive. It's amazing. You don't see too many of those around. Because a lot of Xanthics, they do brown out a oh, lot. Yeah. I mean, we have some that like you're like, wow, it's like kind of. Oh, I mean, I've got some that are phenomenal. That are old. I agree. I've got, a, I've got a probably a 14 year old girl, two of them that are still fan fabulous. But mm -hmm. in general, they still brown a little. Yeah. Those guys don't. I mean, they. Stay, yeah. They get they probably like brighter. That. How yeah. do they look at when yeah. they get big, big? Uh, I mean, that they stay bright. They get a little bit brighter, a little brighter. So they stay yeah. about like that. And I had. My big ones haven't changed much, but my biggest ones I have actually are inchy ghosts. So they're oh, nice. brighter. So nice. Uh, so those are females. Everything else that I've kept that's just plain ghost is has been a male. So they haven't gotten real big, but my inchy girls are pretty fantastic. Super they're nice, huh? Cool. Yeah. You working pretty hard with the uh, the scaleless pine? I mean, I, or is it just something that that was the direction you went first? No, uh, so I, no, I mean, I went a bunch of directions, but that was one I just thought was going to be really cool. So it was one of the first things I bred my scales head to was a pie. So I made scales that had way back. That was your goal. Yeah. Right when you got the yeah, first yeah, yeah, your that, first scales. Yeah, that, and then I really wanted to put leopard stuff into it, which the first year I made a bunch of leopard scales head stuff and sold the shit out of it. So this oh, yeah. year I should have my first shot at making scales leopard stuff. Nice. And really, I kept a leopard cinnamon that's wicked looking scale set so i think the leopard cinnamon one might look pretty good oh yeah i want to see that when you yeah, produce that cool. and then uh, and then i have a shot making um, <clears throat> uh super mojave scaleless this year and hypo scaleless this year which i'm curious to see what the hypo does the yeah yeah it's, kinda... it's already kind of muted to begin with but yeah. i mean i still think there's room to get some black out of that yeah and lighten so, it up even yeah. more and now that i know you can get color in a scaleless yeah you got you good color some, you can still get some orange and hypo in there so oh yeah uh, I mean, being such a huge Azantic fan, I thought about Azantics right out the gate as well. But then I really thought, and I said, dude, I, th that already almost looks, I don't know if Azantics really going to do a whole lot for scaleless because they're I already agree. in that color scheme. Mm -hmm. So I ended up not doing that project, but I know uh, I think Jason Amos is yeah. working on it, so Jason may have one. And yeah, we'll he'll probably it. have some soon. Hopefully I'm completely wrong, and he proves me wrong, but I just, yeah. I didn't think it, it would be dramatically different from a regular yeah. scaleless. You chose a different route. You yeah. went for the... Um, hypo stuff, then the white snake hypo. stuff, the pie, and then leopard stuff this year. And then yeah. uh, I think Daniel produced a cinnamon last year, so I think... Cinnamon scaleless? Yeah. And I was impressed. So I think the dark stuff, GHI, is going to be Mahogany where it's at. And Suma, like a Suma, Suma freaking scaleless, probably be pretty wicked. You know? Oh yeah, for sure. I don't have any sure. mahogany stuff, so I can't do it. But I think the dark stuff's going to be a pretty cool future road for that project. Which... Yeah, I agree. Hi, right, brother. Hi, right, brother. Good talking. Yep. What's up? I'm over here at Tom Harbin's booth. We'll just check out some of the snakes he's got over here. Maybe we'll go over to this side real quick. Let him take care of his customers and whatnot. See some of the uh, other species that he's working with too. A couple ball pythons. Our focus on our channel is ball pythons, so that'll be our main focus in this uh, video. 
Um, but it is nice to see a couple different species around. Castle yellow belly, Mojave orange dream clown. It's real bright. It's real nice. It almost looks like it has coral gold or banana in it. It's so bright. And then there's a banana pastel entry Mojave clown. So I'm sure this one's probably a possible. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, you getting good good footage on that bad boy? Let's do 100 check on the sacks. Some super gravels, these are really nice. I really like the super gravel stuff. And I've got a card reader over here, if I can get my phone working. There's some Monarchs. Let me get your name. Oh, Brandy Hernandez? Brandy. Yep. We got the Monarch Pasta G stripe right there. Some pastel monarch on the right that you already saw. All right, all right, we'll work our way through. Keep moving. Well, and uh, maybe we'll go and check out uh, Bob Clark's booth real quick. See what he's talking about. And just for you, just so you guys know, my dad's done business with Bob Clark in the past. However, I've never personally done business with Bob Clark. I've never um, actually met Bob Clark, so I'm gonna be meeting him, and you guys will get to experience that with me, which will be awesome. So let's see what he has to say. Hopefully he doesn't have a bunch of customers at uh, his booth, because then um, we probably won't get a chance to talk with him, because uh, I understand how it is when I have customers, I can't just stop talking to them, but talk to somebody else. So let's uh, work our way over there and see what we, uh, see what we can check out. Hopefully he has time. All right, so I know this, our channel is all about the ball pythons, but let's check out some of the retics. I saw one that was amazing over here. I don't know if he put a price on it, but it's absolutely stunning. It's white, it's got uh, some, some white, like off-white patches on its back. I don't know what it is. It probably looks like a snow pied retic type of thing. Like, it's credible, so let's check it out. Um, I think it's what these people are taking pictures of, so let's see what it's looking like. Uh, we've been here like three years ago or so. I, I re okay, I remember that, but I didn't meet you then. No, we didn't get to formally meet, but like hey. I was telling my channel that I'm going to formally meet you and they're going to get to experience it with me. <laughs> so that's pretty what awesome, man. What it's become, yeah. Yep, yeah. I, I need on the big uh, rat uh, tub well, yeah. feeder bin. Do you have okay, any yeah. Idea? No, not here, but um, we can get them for you, yeah. Okay, I need that. Okay, yeah. We got you. you the ones you have, you need two of them or something now? Does they eat through it too fast? Yeah, they, uh, let's see, I need, uh, I, I've got a, two of those racks. What are they, four on each level? Uh-huh. I need eight of them. Okay. I mean, two of them are, two of them are falling apart. The other two are, they're going to, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. We'll get those for you. It'll be yeah, stainless now. Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, my, these are ancient. Yeah, yeah, ancient. I'd imagine. Like I had told our channel that we've, uh, you've done business with my dad, but I've never really met you personally. Yeah. I know you know my dad very well. Yeah. And you guys are both pioneers, so I wanted to come and show some of your guys awesome snakes off. Well, good. And um, hopefully I can uh, get you to explain some of the things that you got okay. going on what over here. I was really looking at this. This thing is incredible right yeah, here. And it's, and it's in a shed right now. Right? Man. Maybe, maybe it'll shed tonight, but that's uh, Motley. Um, Let's see, it's albino, motley, pied. Now, albino and pied, you know, it's white with orange spots. Yeah, I was the, thinking it was but, a snow. But the motley took that out. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. That, that, that's a motley pied without, uh, you know. Without, without the albino. Yeah, so awesome. It really, really made a, a difference there when that thing came out. Yeah, that thing's incredible. Yeah. I don't know if you have a price tag on there, but I, I don't think I'm it's. showing off. I figured, <laughs> I figured. <laughs> That thing's incredible. Seeing that thing, girl, you don't see, you, I, this is, have you seen anything like it? No. Not yet, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is a one of a kind, you guys. Yeah, so that's the only one. You I guys really, are getting to I, check that out. I hope, it, I hope it sheds before I have to go home. I decided a while back that the scaleless would be really good. Uh -huh. It's been a little bit disappointing, but. Yeah. But I got, I got a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. Like doing some boas. Some boas and stuff. Yeah, those are nice. Burmese uh, ball python hybrid. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's check it that also out. Also in the finish. The other thing about this guy is that uh, it's actually docile for being uh, Burmese. 
and they're fertile. I've made Not F2s. Really? Mm -hmm. they eat. Wow. They don't look anything like this. <laughs> they're all over the place. They have to. The bellies right. look amazing. They no issues, no kinks, no nothing. Yeah, they feel pretty, and, he, and, they're, and he's real iridescent. Of course, you can't see. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is incredible. I wonder how, they, how big do they usually get? No, well, obviously yeah, bigger the than the. Are about eight feet. But like that. So this is the Burmese ball hybrid. Ball up, Bob Clark's the only one with these over at his uh, booth. I don't know if you've sold any of them or not. Yeah, I've sold them all except these. Except for these? Yeah. yeah, I believe they move like probably water, man. Like, yeah, Mike Wilbanks and I are doing this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's absolutely incredible. Check out them both. So, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, that's... That's something that, like, I mean, probably one of the nicest <laughs> forms of pie. Yeah, in, in, any, in any of the species. In my opinion, yeah. Because nobody's seen it. I haven't had them out before. But. Oh, really? This Thanks is, for showing. Uh, this is uh, phantom pie. Phantom pie. Um, Retig. No albino in this, but they have they're they're uh, all white. All white. And they have red eyes, but the eyes are a little small, and they're all that. Sort way. of similar to like the lesser pied on a ball python, huh? What does it look like? Is it it like a... the demon eyes, the small eyes? Yeah, that's. That, okay. Yeah, that's almost identical. So that's. But it doesn't affect anything. Doesn't no, affect their feeding response. It's... It doesn't affect anything. No. Now, since it's right born though, some of them have started to get some pattern. With age. Yeah. When it comes out of the eggs, he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that. I just noticed it last time I had him out. Wow. Uh, but that's, that's something that uh, has happened since it was born. But, you know, the phantom, the cows, part of a, this phantom, uh -huh. and they develop a pattern. But th this looks like it's, they're both. They're both doing it? Yeah. It's uh, the seen on the tip. Yeah, they're both doing it. That's crazy. Once they grow on their tail. I wonder if they'll start popping. Yeah, you notice uh, mostly I, on the tail, right? Yeah, I don't know. Only it's on not. Tail. Oh, they've all, only, only like that. Wow. Yeah. You get that, Brian? There it is. Uh, but that's an. He's shed, excited. It's, it's a nice. It's a nice. Uh, there we go. Normal pied type pattern, not not <laughs> like a, not like the uh, cows that get a spot. Yeah, they get, get spots, spots all over and, and stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's not quite like that. Oh man, you haven't seen one of these yet. Scaleless Enchi. Looks like he was on his shed on his way here. Yeah, so I can see he's, it. he's just starting to shed, but it's yeah, since he's it. on some aspen, he's yeah. I keep him. That's how I keep him though. I just keep him like that. Like I keep him like everything. Oh yeah, they're real smooth. So this is the Enchi scale list, full scale list. I mean, you can see the full pattern, like I show you in the genetic videos, how they get the banding, a little bit of orange coming through. You got a, uh, can't quite see the, the head stamp as quite strong, but you get the nice eye stripes right here. But yeah, this is incredible. There's a big fat one there. They're all different, you know, but. Oh, wow. Eat great, grow fast, you know, really. Not, not different than any other. Can we see that one? Python, yeah. This one has a little bit of the scales going on in the back. You know, sort of like this, uh, like. Uh, also. Really? Yeah, that developed. Oh, it wow. have, it when it came out the egg, it didn't have any. No. See, like on the, the Harvey Dent, the one that we have that's half and half, it has a lot of these little oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, you had that one. Yeah, it's half and half. But did it have those things when it was born? Um, not the little stuff. The little yeah. stuff started coming through as it aged. Yes, I think, these, I think these things have come through. They're mostly down the middle. Yeah. Not many people have talked about the breeding of the uh, actual visual scaleless male. Like being fertile, so if you you haven't tried it yet, right? No, I don't know why it wouldn't be though. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be, but yeah. I'm just I, there's not much talk about it yet. So, because you know how there was that whole fiasco about being 800 grams and they die, which has already been proven wrong. That, yeah. So that's all that's all BS. So, I think this could be the next like, because I mean, if you feel this snake, I mean. I know you guys can't feel it through the camera, but if you feel this. Rub it on your face. Yeah, exactly. It's like velvet. And I mean, who wouldn't want a snake like that when um, when it's your pet? You know what I mean? This is like an amazing pet animal. I mean, if you put like, uh, say, different genetics in it, make different patterns, super stripe, uh, clown, different, all sorts of different stuff. I mean, 
it's a whole new uh, yeah. market yeah. Oh, yeah. that hasn't even been touched yet. There's only been normals, fires, and simple genes, nothing really mixed like majorly yet. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think I can make some pies this year. I got some. There you go. Some, I got some Look at that. Head pies. So we had head clowns. Oh man, those males? Yeah. Oh man, this guy's over here going for it. We had just seen the scaleless pie, and this guy's are right there. That, are you, is that available? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your time. Okay. Very much, and it's very, very nice to meet you. And uh, we'll come back around. Okay. Thanks, man. And I got you on those, uh, those bins. You got to see some awesome snakes over at Bob Clark's booth. Um, we, I actually got to meet Bob Clark, and you got to see that, actually, which is awesome. So, um, right now, we're gonna go back and stand in front of the uh, the Coco Blocks booth so you guys can see what's going on. Um, I want you guys to check out um, again some of the cool things we got over here. So um, Colby Nelson, I don't I didn't mention that in the beginning of this video. He's the one running this booth. You can um, order pre-order at shows. You'll be able to pre-order at all the NARBC shows, the Daytona Reptile Show. You can just hit up Colby anytime and he'll take care of you. You get your locked in order for the show. That way you get the, the good sale price for those shows. It's gonna be $12 every time. So don't worry about it going up, but that'll be the only shows that you're gonna be able to get them for $12. So um, definitely get your, your orders in with Colby before uh, say Tinley, Arlington and Daytona. And we're gonna start bringing uh, Coco Block Shakers to all the shows. So. Um, we'll have those there available for all the people that need it. We're gonna make this into a two-part because there's so many awesome people here at this show that we wanna sh uh, uh, meet and we wanna go and um, visit that we've already met, or I have personally, but um, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna be doing this with you guys, so that's why I'm saying we. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know it's gonna be a two-part video, maybe even three-part, depending on how it goes, but um, we're gonna go check out more snakes on the next video, so you guys stay tuned. If you guys have not subscribed, please do. And if you guys uh, would please just show your support, shoot that thumbs up. And um, if you have any comments or uh, questions, leave a comment below. And um, you guys have a great day. Oh, I'm cracking, dog. Um, the next one, you're supposed to remember that. Oh, you didn't write it down? No. I wrote it down, I'm not gonna walk around on paper. Oh, it's uh, no, it's Tom. Tom Harbin. Thanks, Tom. Sorry to be all up in your business. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's up, everybody? Okay. All right, so we're just.